as 3i Atlas races toward its closest approach to Earth on December 19, something unbelievable is happening. It's becoming more mysterious by the day. So, you now say this is not only an alien spaceship, but it's nuclear powered? Why are you saying that? Well, thanks for having me. First, I should say that uh, if the light that we observe from this object is reflection of sunlight, its size needs to be bigger than Manhattan Island, 20 kilometers or so. And uh, there isn't enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver a rock of that size uh, earlier than 10,000 years from now. So the question is, what is it? And uh, its orbit, the trajectory that it takes, is aligned with the plane of the planets around the sun to within five degrees. That's a chance of one in 500. And moreover, the What does that tell you? What does that trajectory tell you? Well, it, it indicates that perhaps it was designed by some intelligence. That's something steering it. Not necessarily, but uh, the trajectory itself was chosen to be such that this object will pass close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. The chance of that happening, the, the timing of its arrival is perfect for that, to, uh, with a likelihood of 1 in 20,000. And so the, I'm just saying we should observe it. It doesn't look like uh, it's a, a random occurrence. Uh, you know, uh, the size, the, the trajectory, the fact that it comes so close to three planets in our solar What began as a faint interstellar traveler detected in early July has, over the span of just a few months, transformed into a dynamic, volatile, and deeply puzzling object whose behavior defies many of the expectations astronomers developed from studying comets and asteroids within our own solar system. The closer it moves toward and then past the sun, the more complex and unusual its activity becomes. What researchers initially treated as a passive, dormant body drifting in from deep interstellar space now appears to be undergoing a series of physical and chemical transformations triggered by solar heating, radiation, and plasma interactions, revealing clues about its structure and chemistry that were previously inaccessible. The origin of 3i Atlas stretches long before even the formation of Earth. Current models suggest that this wanderer may be between 3 and 11 billion years old, predating the Sun itself. Over the course of at least 10 million years, based on detailed surveys from Gaia DR3 and orbital reconstruction models, it has not passed near any star systems, meaning it has remained unaltered by stellar radiation or planetary interactions for eons. That isolation allowed it to accumulate and preserve volatile ices, carbon-rich dust, and organic compounds from the interstellar medium. Galactic cosmic rays, constantly striking the object over millions to billions of years, would slowly modify these materials creating a complex chemistry frozen into its outer layers. For researchers, objects like this are time capsules, containing the chemical signatures of environments that existed before our solar system even formed. Its first months of observations seemed to reinforce this interpretation. After being spotted on July 1st, 3i Atlas brightened at a predictable rate as it drifted inward, behaving much like a standard comet would as solar energy increased. Nothing appeared out of the ordinary until early September, when it crossed approximately 2.5 astronomical units from the Sun. At that moment, the object abruptly brightened by roughly two magnitudes, an enormous leap. Typical cometary outbursts fade quickly, returning to the gradual brightening trend governed by heliocentric distance. This event did not fade. Instead, the brightness surge remained persistent and then continued to intensify as the object approached perihelion on October 29. This sustained jump in luminosity suggested something far more dramatic than a single burst of volatile release. Many researchers now view this moment as evidence of a global cryovolcanic activation event, an entire surface transitioning into a new thermochemical regime as water ice reached temperatures conducive to rapid sublimation. Phase modeling supports this. At roughly 2.5 AU, water can begin to exist temporarily in liquid form in porous subsurface pockets, especially when mixed with salts or other anti like compounds common in carbonaceous material. If 3i Atlas possessed a crust of interstellar ice and organics that had remained sealed for millions of years, the sudden exposure to solar heating could have produced a sweeping activation across its surface, releasing massive amounts of gas, vapor, and dust into space. Supporting this interpretation, spectroscopic analyses revealed unusual volatile ratios compared to typical solar system comets. Observers detected extremely high CO2 to H2O ratios, about 8 to 1, representing a 4.5 sigma deviation from the norm. 
there was also an unusually high CO to water ratio of around 1.6. Such oxidation states are characteristic of CR carbonaceous chondrites, a rare meteorite class known for their metal-rich interiors and abundant organics. These meteorites, believed to originate from asteroids formed beyond the protoplanetary disk, contain iron-nickel materials that corrode in the presence of liquid water to form magnetite, Fe304. That process also drives Fischer-Tropsch-type reactions that can synthesize complex organics, including the precursors to amino acids and sugars. The similarities between this chemistry and what is being inferred from 3i Atlas are striking enough that some researchers now describe the interstellar object as a compositional twin to see our chondrite parent bodies. As 3i Atlas rounded the sun in late October, its behavior grew even extraordinary. Observations from both professional and amateur astronomers captured enormous jets erupting from the nucleus, some stretching at least 50,000 kilometers into space. Case. The jets displayed filamentary, wave-like structures, hallmarks of plasma interactions as ionized gases responded to the solar wind and the object's own emerging magnetic field. These structures hinted that the object was not simply shedding material, but doing so in a way that involved electrically charged interactions, suggesting a complex evolving interplay between dust, gas, radiation, and magnetic forces. The magnetic component of the story may be one of the most intriguing. Like all comets, 3i Atlas develops an induced magnetic cavity, a protective bubble created when ionized gases in the coma interact with the solar wind. The Rosetta mission found that comets can generate magnetic barriers reaching 30 to 50 nanotesla under normal conditions and up to 300 nanotesla during solar storms. But 3i Atlas may be developing something more permanent, as magnetite forms on its surface during catalytic reactions involving iron-nickel materials and water, the object could be accumulating a weak but enduring magnetic field of its own. This would be a profound transformation, and once inert object from deep interstellar space acquiring an active magnetic shield through solar-driven chemistry. If confirmed, this would have implications for understanding how early planets planetary bodies, meteorites, and icy objects evolve when exposed to new stellar environments for the first time. Meanwhile, the most visually dramatic anomaly emerged, the appearance of a growing tail pointing toward the sun. Normally, cometary tails extend away from the sun as solar radiation pushes dust outward and solar wind forces ionized gases along magnetic field lines. But 3i Atlas shows the opposite trend post-perihelion. While the anti-sunward tail has begun to fade with increasing distance from the sun, as expected, the sunward-facing structure has grown brighter, longer, and more defined. Sunward features have been observed in some rare comet cases, often associated with dust grains falling inward or interacting with magnetic fields, but the scale and clarity of 3i Atlas's sunward tail make this an especially rare and puzzling phenomenon. It suggests that the object's changing magnetic environment, combined with dust dynamics unique to its composition, may be directing material toward the sun rather than away from it. The timing of another scientific announcement only deepened interest. Days before 3i Atlas reached perihelion, NASA released new findings from the OSIRIS-REx mission to asteroid Bennu, confirming that the sample return contained ribose, glucose, amino acids, nucleotides, and various organic compounds essential to biological chemistry. Bennu, a B-type asteroid, is not even particularly rich in organics compared to D-type or CR-type materials. If such building blocks of life are abundant on a relatively ordinary asteroid like Bennu, then an interstellar object with the chemistry of a CR chondrite, one that has spent billions of years being enriched by cosmic rays, might carry even more complex molecular precursors. This is not evidence of life, but it adds weight to the idea that objects like 3i Atlas could transport the raw ingredients of biology across vast cosmic distances. With the cryovolcanic activation, unusual volatile composition, magnetite formation, magnetic field interactions, large-scale jets, and unprecedented sunward tail, researchers now view 3i Atlas as a highly dynamic body undergoing rapid transformation. Its interior, likely rich in metals and structurally robust, appears to be releasing large amounts of gas and dust, as interstellar materials experience solar heating for the first time in perhaps tens or hundreds of millions of years. Its rotation period of approximately 16.6 hours hours ensures relatively even solar exposure across the surface, reinforcing the hypothesis that the activation event was global rather than localized. As the object cools post-perihelion, overall activity is diminishing, but the continued strengthening of the sunward tail indicates that certain processes remain active. December 19th marks the point of closest approach to Earth. 
While not near enough to pose any physical threat, the encounter is significant because it allows researchers to collect high-resolution imagery and spectroscopic data during a critical window when activity remains strong. The alignment of Earth, Sun, and 3i Atlas during this period also increases the likelihood of observing solar-driven changes, especially given the object's sensitivity to solar storms in the weeks surrounding perihelion. Scientists have noted correlations between the object's orientation relative to major sunspots and surges in solar activity, though whether this reflects any causal relationship remains speculative. Looking ahead, one of the most highly anticipated phases of the 3i Atlas timeline occurs months after the physical flyby. Between March and April 2026, Earth will pass through the region of space the interstellar object inhabited during its perihelion passage. During that time, 3i Atlas released enormous amounts of dust, gas, and particulate matter into space. While most of this material will be diffuse, Earth's orbit will intersect the densest portion of that trail. Planetary scientists are eager to determine whether micrometeorites or molecular fragments originating from 3i Atlas will reach Earth's atmosphere, offering a potential opportunity to study interstellar material indirectly. Past meteor showers have delivered organic compounds and amino acids to Earth, and while no significant hazards are expected during the 2026 crossing, it remains a scientifically valuable moment for understanding how material from beyond our solar system interacts with our planet. What makes 3i Atlas especially unique is how rapidly its story is unfolding. In just five months, researchers have watched an ancient interstellar traveler, likely unchanged for millions of years, suddenly undergo a cascade of transformations triggered entirely by the sun's proximity. In a way, the object serves as a natural laboratory for understanding how primordial materials evolve when encountering a new stellar environment for the first time. Every aspect of its behavior, from the brightness surge to the complex organics, from the magnetic interactions to the rare sunward-facing tail, provides a window into processes that would have been common during the early days of star and planet formation, but are now rarely observable. The scientific questions that emerge from this event are both numerous and far-reaching. How common are interstellar objects with this composition? What does the activity of 3i Atlas tell us about the chemistry of planetismals formed in other star systems? Could interstellar bodies contribute meaningful amounts of organic material to planets they pass near? How does long-term cosmic ray processing alter the molecular inventory of ices and dust? And what happens to an interstellar object's magnetic and chemical environment when it undergoes activation for the first time in millions of years? For now, astronomers continue to monitor 3i Atlas as it moves outward toward Jupiter, where it will make a relatively close flyby in early 2026 before eventually exiting the solar system entirely. Its evolving brightness, tail structure, and magnetic interactions will be studied for years as new data streams in from observatories around the world. Each observation adds adds another piece to a growing puzzle, a puzzle that spans from the chemistry of the early universe to the building blocks of life, to the dynamic behavior of icy bodies under intense solar energy. As December progresses and the object makes its nearest approach, researchers remain focused on capturing every possible detail before it fades into the outer solar system once more carrying with it the mysteries of its origin and the clues it reveals about the complex chemistry that fills the universe.